with the introduction of OS X Mavericks, we began offering our macOS updates free for Mac users. And 2013 was also the year that we first introduced our California naming theme. Now, after spending a year by the ocean, we not only modernized the look and feel of macOS, but we headed to the mountains with macOS Yosemite. Now, as you may be aware, our naming of Mac releases is handled by our crack marketing organization. <laughs> and as you probably noticed, they went on a four-year mountain-bound bender. <laughs> In El Capitan, we added metal, our groundbreaking graphics technology. In Sierra, we brought Siri to the Mac and extended our capabilities and continuity. And last year, with High Sierra, we focused on deep technology, preparing the Mac for future innovation. Well, this year, we've made some striking changes to Mac OS, and we've left the high country for a place entirely different but no less beautiful and here still in California. And I'd like to take you there now. Our next release of Mac OS is Mac OS Mojave. Now, Mojave is beautiful during the day, but what really captured our imagination was the beauty of the desert at night. And this inspired one of our most distinctive new features, and I'd like to show it to you now. So here we are live in macOS Mojave, and I'd like to show you a new side of Mojave. We call it dark mode. Now, as you see, dark mode is not just about the dock or the menu bar. It extends to your Windows Chrome, your sidebar, and even the content of the windows. And it's so great for pros. It makes photographic content absolutely pop off the screen. It's just gorgeous. So nice. And this is great not just for photography, but when working on presentations or documents. It's also great doing ordinary things if maybe you're working in a dark environment. You just look at calendar and even mail in dark mode. It's so great. And I think some of us are going to want to run dark mode just because it's so cool. I mean, your emoji look great. Your photos look great. I mean, check out your album art and music or your For You feed and Apple music. But I think one audience that's going to especially appreciate dark mode are some of you here in this room are developers, because Xcode looks fantastic in dark. Whether it's your source code or even interface builder and all of its inspectors, they just look fantastic in black. And that's a quick look at dark mode. Now, we were so inspired by this changing desktop wallpaper that we decided to add a new feature to Mojave that I think you'll, you'll enjoy. It's called Dynamic Desktop. And when you're using it, your desktop actually subtly changes throughout the day, from morning to afternoon to evening. It's really cool. Now, there's much more to Mojave that I'd like to share with you through demos, and it starts with the desktop. Now, the desktop is so crucial to how many of us use our Macs. When we have files that we're actively working on, we often put them on the desktop, but the result can be a desktop that looks something like this. And so now in Mojave, we have a really great solution, and we call it Desktop Stacks. All of the contents of your desktop are automatically arranged into these stacks. And they can be arranged by kind, by date, or even by tag. And they're really easy to use. You just click on them, you can see all the contents in the stack, you can double click to open a document, and put it away. And they stay organized 
So for instance, if I bring forward mail, maybe I drag an image out, I want you to watch what happens because the image flies right into the right stack. Now, you can also scrub your stacks. So for instance, I'll just scrub across this stack. You see I can select between different photos, pick one up. Actually, let me just hide mail here, mid-drag. Got a little excited with, my, uh, with all of my stack action. So I can just drag this out and drop it in just like that. And that's a quick look at stacks. Now, we've also brought some great new changes to the Finder. I'd like to show them to you now. Now, it starts with a new view. We all uh, enjoy using icon view, list view, there's of course column view, but now we've added an all new view called gallery view. It has a big preview up top, a set of thumbnails along the bottom, and it makes it easy to preview images, video, presentations, documents, spreadsheets, PDFs, and of course with images, sometimes you wanna know more detail about, for instance, how they were captured. And now the new sidebar in Mojave really helps because it now supports full metadata. So you can see around your photo the camera you took the photo on, the kind of lens, the aperture settings, and so forth. It's really handy. And you'll notice also along the bottom, there's this new area called quick actions. And quick actions let you act on the current photo. So for instance, if I have a photo like this and I wanna edit it, I don't have to open it and go or do a new app can rotate it right here inside the Finder. It's really powerful. Now, this sidebar is available in other views of the Finder. So for instance, I'm just gonna bring up the preview pane here, and I'm gonna do a multi-selection of a PDF as well as several images. And you'll notice that the quick actions area is contextual. So it shows me create PDF as an option. I'm gonna click Create PDF, and it's gonna assemble all of these photos into a PDF, just like that. But what's really great is these actions are also customizable. So you can create automator actions and assign them to buttons here inside of Finder. So you'll notice that now that I have this PDF selected, I have an option to run a custom automator action that I've created called Watermark PDF. When I click it, my custom action runs, and my document is watermarked, just like that. And those are some quick enhancements to the finder.